Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over my weekly stock picks for the week of June 6th through the 9th. Before we do, just to reiterate, not a financial advisor, make sure that you do your own research before investing. Also, if you find value in today's video, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content, and hit the notification bell. That way, YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. Other than that, guys, let's dive right on into it. All right, guys, so before getting into my picks for this week, we're going to talk about a recap of last week. So my picks were S Triple Q, Tesla, and Amazon. All right, guys. So taking a look at S Triple Q, uh, the market actually had a decent week, uh, and then on Friday we kind of took a little dip, and then uh, S Triple Q started kind of slowly taking its way up. This one's a more riskier play because you know it does short the Nasdaq, so the Nasdaq does well, and then this stock is going to go down. On the flip side of things, if the Nasdaq goes down this thing will shoot up. Tesla actually down almost 3%. We were up considerably large uh, for the week. I say considerably large. Um, we had a really good week until uh, that dump on uh, Thursday. Okay, it fell down and then I found, looks like to hopefully find a bottom around 700. We started off at about 723 and got as high as 790 and then pretty much gave all of our gains back and then some. Uh, for the week so but if you'd gotten in Monday you could have had a decent little return by uh, Thursday and then look to cash out for a quick swing and then Amazon guys Amazon was up seven almost eight percent I talked about how I thought this stock was going to move in an upward direction based on the upcoming stock split that's supposed to take place I believe tomorrow so you're going to see the chart tomorrow on Amazon whenever it does fully go through. It's going to look like Amazon just fell off of a cliff. But keep in mind, uh, it's basically s uh, splitting 20 to 1. So you have uh, $2,447. You're going to divide that by 20, and it's going to give you the new share price. Okay, so those of you who are not in Amazon like myself yet, it's going to give some good buying opportunities for us for a longer term investment. Okay, and that's what I'm looking to do is monthly, I'm gonna start putting some money into Amazon, buy a couple shares here and there, and then uh, hold it for the you know, next couple of years and let it increase because I do think Amazon's gonna continuously rise again over time. Um, if you think about it, you know, everybody buys stuff off of Amazon. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. And even if the sales may be a little bit down, uh, may, you know, it may slip into a recession, I don't know. But I think for the long haul, this is going to be a safe bet uh, for myself that I'm going to be looking to start slowly adding to. All right, guys, so my picks for this week, S triple Q is up there again. And this one is kind of as uh, as the market reacts or so whatever the market does, you play off of here. So if you you look in the mar the pre-market and the futures are down, especially if they're down pretty large, then you're going to want to hop into S triple Q, let it ride up, you know, five, six, seven percent, eight percent, whatever that may be for the day. And then if it were me, I would get out for a day trade. I would not hold on to this thing long term because as the market turns around and recovers, even if it's temporary, you're going to give away all your gains off of it. So it's all dependent on if the market starts to uh, dive. All right. Zion All and Gas, ticker symbol ZNOGZ, Dizzle My Nizzle annual shareholder meeting is on uh, Wednesday, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you have not voted, make sure that you get your votes in. If you signed up for the annual shareholder meeting, you should get an email with a Zoom link, uh, uh, and that's how you actually watch the meeting, okay? You, you click on the link, you put your name in and all this stuff, and then uh, if you don't have Zoom, you may have to download it or, or make an account or whatever, and you can watch the annual shareholder meeting live on that. And then Occidental Petroleum, ticker symbol OXY. We're going to take a look at that one, why I think it may be setting up for a decent little swing play upcoming this week. And then on the watch list is Sassol, ticker symbol SSL. Techn technicals are telling me to watch it uh, for a decent swing play entry. Triple ENF, which has been beaten down for quite a while. We're going to take a look at that and uh, just kind of want to update everyone on the support and resistance levels of that and then amazon like i said guys is whenever the stock split does come into play you'll see the stock price go down so i'm interested to see how the market reacts to it if we get a sell-off right after the stock split or if we're going to get an initial uh, spike up and are people going to come in and buy right away or is this thing going to um you know shoot down a little bit further and then start making its way 
up to the upside. So that's my picks and watch list for the week. Let's take a look at the charts and let's see what they're telling us. All right, guys. So first off, looking at S triple Q. I mean, we're looking at the technicals here and the support and resistance lines, but this here is is pretty much it's based off of the Nasdaq, right? So we're going to look at T triple Q kind of as an inverse option to see what they're what it's telling us here. But you're going to want to watch and see if the futures are red before getting into this. If the futures are down, again, this is going to be a decent uh, little scalp or day trade. If we're looking at S triple Q. Um, I'm sorry, T triple Q. Basically, this is now in a bearish pattern or fair value, which says that we have some more room for downside here. If the market starts selling off, this thing could shoot down, uh, maybe down to 30 or below. And in that case, uh, S triple Q is going to make its way back to uh, to the upside. Okay, so you want to watch the Nasdaq. If the Nasdaq futures are down, S triple Q is going to be the thing to keep an eye on next up zion oil and gas ticker symbol z n o g we've been talking about a cup and handle pattern on the channel for quite some time now probably back like over here that uh, we said well we may see a cup and handle pattern forming if we can you know make our way up and get a little spike up the chart is looking great okay we fulfilled the cup okay at about 34 and a half 35 cents and now if we get a pullback i would expect it to get down maybe to 30 at the most and then off of some good news we should spike up but we could see some initial um you know initial buying pressure right off the open tomorrow and just keep in mind this for the short term okay i'm not talking about for the long term we're gonna look at the long term here in a minute but the short term for the 180 day four hour you are over extended you're overvalued you're overbought whatever you want to call it and typically you're you're due for some type of temporary pullback doesn't mean it's going to shoot all the way down to 10 cents it's just meaning some people may start taking profits here and it may bump it down to like 30 cents because you think about it, there's a lot of people that probably got in here okay at about the nine cent 10 cent mark and 11 cent 12 cent whatever and by this point they've tripled their money so if you think that people are you know every single person's in it to hold forever you're you're mistaken okay i think you're going to see a, a little pullback and then maybe we die out at a certain point and we wait for the annual shareholder meeting okay or maybe we sell off right before the annual shareholder meeting because people are kind of freaked out of you know the unknown <laughs> okay I i'm saying that if we don't get some type of update or press release prior to the annual shareholder meeting i would think if they're going to release something to the public like on the annual shareholder meeting that they should have to release a press release prior to the meeting okay so that's what i'm watching if they release a press release prior to the meeting that's going to be extremely bullish for me in my opinion because that means you know they they went ahead and they filed everything they got it out and now they're going to go and reiterate i guess what's going to uh happen you know from that point on so uh, the meetings at 9 a.m central standard time like i said so make sure that you try to chime in and watch Again, I'll be unavailable to watch it, but I will make a follow-up video on that as soon as I can Wednesday afternoon. All right, guys, so we talked about the short term. Now let's quickly look at the long-term chart. This is basically from January 1st, 2020, all the way to June 2nd, 2022. As you see, we have a high of $1.74. We're still pretty low on the FIB level. We got a break above about 45 uh, 45 and a half cents to get to that first level of resistance then 72 92 a dollar 11 dollar 35 and then a dollar 74 what's interesting to me okay is this looks extremely similar on a long-term pattern as it does on a short term so you remember how i told you that i was kind of uh, sniffing out a cup and handle pattern on the short term uh, chart whenever we had a little spike up we fell down and we started moving again you kind of look and see here that it almost looks like it wants to form one here as well, which would be very exciting for the long-term investors. If we can get back and shoot back up to $1.74, we pull back down to $1.35, $1.40, and then boom, we hit the ground running again and start making our way up. So even on the longer term time frame, we are a little overvalued here. However, we are just crossing over from bearish to bullish on this longer term pattern. So just because we're overvalued here doesn't mean we cannot go higher at this point. So super excited to see how the market reacts to it this week. And oops, wrong stock. 
<laughs> I was picking Amazon. It's not what we talked about in the video. So Occidental, ticker symbol OXY, has had a massive run ever since uh, back in, started I guess in about October of last year, sort of kind of peaking its, poking its head up and then started moving when we got into 2022 and we went all the way up to 7404 as our overall high. Okay, so this does have some room for downside here. We're kind of close to fair value, not all the way there yet. If the market does sell off, you have a little bit more room to come down here and maybe test that $62 level. But if we do at that point, we're probably going to be pretty close to undervalued. So I think this is one to kind of keep an eye on. If you get in, if you're swinging it, then I would just kind of be cautious. I wouldn't go in without a stop loss at this point. If it fell down for some reason, maybe grab some and you can ride it back up to about the $70 mark because this here is in a bearish pattern. So eventually, once the market starts kind of getting back into a bullish pattern, this will probably follow the market as well and move its way up. But you see, we are still in a pretty good uptrend. But just keep in mind that this has had a very, very massive run all the way from January to now. So typically, when you get to the very tip top, you start seeing some cooling off. However, it doesn't mean you can't catch some moves to the upside on a downtrend okay so that's all i got for you in this week guys uh, let me know your comments below other than that we will catch you in the next one